Quiet, solemn, dignified. Hundreds stand in silence each year here in central Delhi and remember those killed in 1984 during one of India's bloodiest periods. They are the families and the survivors of the Sikh faith, targeted after the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was assassinated by her own Sikh bodyguard. It was alleged revenge for the Prime Minister ordering the storming of the Golden Temple by the Indian Army. The temple is the revered and sacred focal point of the Sikh faith. The aftermath was bloody. Up to 3,000 Sikhs killed within three days of communal violence. Nurpreet Kaur is the only survivor from her family. Once wealthy, it's taken nearly three decades to regain some financial stability in her life. Jailed for openly accusing the politicians she felt were leading the Sikh killings, she now helps others from her community become local entrepreneurs. Financial security hasn't dimmed her drive to seek justice. The prosecution will make me feel that justice has been served. I will accept that, unlike the unending path to justice. However, after such a long time, my youth has been taken away by my loss. The criminals led their lives happily afterwards. If they'd been locked away in 1984, then perhaps I too would feel they lost their youth in a moment of madness. The, uh, principal secretary too. the road to finding justice has taken nearly three decades and leading the victims is this lawyer. Adamant that a prosecution is the only way to settle the matter, while five cases remain in court, no resolution so far sends a dangerous message out to the masses. Because the guilty of 84 was not punished, the other politicians got encouraged. Now if you forget the 84 today, then you forget Mumbai, then you forget Gujarat, then be prepared. Now this can be anywhere and anyone can be the target of the, of the killings again. So we want to uphold the rule of law of, in the country. The reason given for the assault on the Golden Temple by security forces was to flush out criminals. They were using the temple to call for a separate Sikh state. A recent haul of explosives apprehended by the authorities in Punjab was apparently destined for separatists. So, are they on the rise again? At its worst, it was a peripheral movement. The vast majority of the people were not involved. It is dead. It is totally dead. There is no issue of Khalistan now. These are groups, peripheral groups, trying to create some trouble here. Nothing else. The Congress party, in government with a Sikh Prime Minister at the helm, have apologised on three occasions for the killings in 1984. But an apology is not what the victims want. For the relatives, the events of 27 years ago remain unresolved. And while the court cases continue against those that these people believe were responsible for the deaths of so many innocent Sikhs, the open wound remains opened. And therefore closure seems a long way off. And without closure, it's inevitable that these people will be back here again next year. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.